All right, it's all wet sanded. That's what the hood will look like with clear on it. That's water. Just rinsed it off real good. I mean, it's just slick as glass right now. Other than a couple of burn through spots I got, I got a touch up before I clear it. That's about it. Um, right there. A little thin on that edge. We're good over there. I got all the over spray off. Got the roof done. All the sides. I tried to stay off of that as much as possible because that's rubberized undercoating. And that is like makes the sandpaper literally like uh, rip the paint right off of it. But there we go. We'll clear it sometime uh, next few days. That's what it'll look like we clear right there. Yeah, change of plans. Now I gotta redo that stripe. I gotta do the touch up on it. And uh, it's just an absolute pain in the ass to try and work on this hood on that truck. So I went ahead and pulled it off, pulled it on these things here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch this hood up. Tomorrow night I'm gonna clear it. And then I'm just gonna set it off. I'm gonna cover it up and I'm gonna set it off to the side. And pray like hell I don't scratch it before I get to put it back on. It'll be easier to clear that truck without a hood on it. Because it's just going to, it's a monstrosity to, uh, you know, try and do anything with that hood. You know, this hood is literally probably four and a half feet that way and five feet or better this way. So I'm just going to touch this hood up here and clear it tomorrow night. Someone posed the question to me. What's the benefits of wet sanding versus dry sanding? I'm gonna see if I can show you in the light. Okay, this is dry sanding. I mean, this surface looks like shit. Squigglies, scratches, because your paper gets plugged up, okay? Um, see this pigtail squigglies? I mean, this surface just absolutely looks hoary because of the squigglies. That's the difference. Um, black looks good because it was wet sand before it was sprayed. The rest of it was dry sand before it was sprayed. There you go. Well, this is why you don't damn do any kind of painting, clear coating, anything at night. There wasn't bug one in this building. I had all the exhaust fans running, all the fans running. I mean, just had everything going as you know, hard as I could. I wet it down the floor. I got two coats clear on this damn thing. He's actually walking across it. If you can see him, let me zoom out so I can zoom in. See him? That rotten bastard is crawling across that clear coat. There's one there. There's two there. And there's one. Yeah, you can actually see his footprints in the light. Look at that. So now tomorrow, after this hardens up, I'm going to have to take it and wet sand all the bugs out of it. Jesus, you know, this is the shit you expect. And this stuff actually went down like pretty much like glass. I mean, you can see it. That's a $55, $60 clear coat. It was actually going down nice. I mean, I got the second coat. I got the first, I got a dusting on. Let it sit about five minutes and came back. Put a heavy coat on walked away and was getting that second heavy coat on and it's like somebody just threw a handful of freaking bugs in here ah one right there too you know, this thing's don't like to focus on that bright ass yeah, right there's one yeah there's one right there at the end of the hood see him ah oh well Ain't nothing I can do about it.